As an engineer, I naturally overanalyze everything, which makes me the perfect person to tell you all the ways that someone will dissect your profile and find reasons to ignore you. Don't be discouraged. This is life. Roaming the desert, looking for something tasty, and wondering if the pretty things are a mirage. Your online dating profile is a resume of your life. To attract a worthy mate, you have to prove yourself. Use proper grammar, convey you are accomplished, and that you would be a pleasure to work with. Let's start with the goal of your profile. One, to show that you are normal, that you have a life. I think we all know that mass murderers are loners. Luckily, all loners aren't mass murderers. I personally like to avoid guys that have seven selfies all on their living room couch. So the most important thing is to prove that you get out. Goal number two of your profile is to prove that you are interesting. People get bored easily, so if all you can list for your activities is that you like going out to eat and hanging out with friends, well, I might pass. Show that you go on adventures or something, or say something unique about you. For example, I'm a big sci-fi fan, so in my list of favorite TV shows, I put down Stargate SG-1. When a guy recognizes the show, boy did they get excited. But I don't want to turn off non-nerdy guys, so I also list the mainstream shows that I watch, like Jack Ryan. Remember, your number one goal is to show that you are normal. Fill it out. Now, on to how to achieve those goals of appearing normal and interesting. Even though most questions are optional, filling them out gives you the opportunity to convince your date potentials that you are worth talking to. This should go without saying, but based on my experience, it doesn't. List your name. If you get to look at pictures of me, I feel like I should at least know your name. Ignore this whole YouTube thing. Clearly you're getting to look at me and I have no idea who you are. <laughs> if you are really concerned about privacy, just list a random normal name and tell your match in one of your first messages what your actual name is. For warning, listing a fake name can cause a problem, which I will explain in my future video why women don't respond to your online dating message. You don't have to answer every question, but you should answer the important ones, like who you are and what you're looking for. I need to know that. You really need to list the university that you graduated from. If you don't and you just say that you have a bachelor's, I assume you went to Cornfield Community College. That's okay, but it, it's not for me. Ivy's not for me either, I've learned. Everyone's looking for something different, but that's all the more reason that you should be specific. Be sure to include what makes you awesome. So I was reviewing my ex-boyfriend's match profile. He was starting to see other people and I wanted to help him out because we were still friends. And I noticed that he didn't even list that he was French Canadian. And I think it's quite important because he speaks fluent French. It's your first language and you're not gonna tell a woman that? Don't you think she'd wanna know? And saying that you're Canadian is a good indicator to a woman that you're nice and your family is nice. So you don't want to leave that out. I think it's a selling point. Not all people are turned off if you have kids, so don't hide it. If you have kids with multiple women in multiple states, not so cool. I definitely prefer kids from one ex-wife. But seriously, if you list that you have children and also say that they're not in your household, it would be really helpful if you would say why. If they're in college, that's understandable. If your ex-wife got full custody, you should explain that. Otherwise, I might have to consider that you beat her or you do drugs. When you say what you're looking for, it may be a little short-sighted to say that you're looking for someone with similar interests. As difficult as it is to find someone these days, I'm not sure that's realistic. Just having one activity in common is a huge win for a relationship. Shared values and a similar intelligence level is what I'd recommend you look for. Once a guy wrote this in his profile, so I knew that he knew what was up. I'd love to find someone who has the same values, a strong work ethic, is kind, and has healthy relationships with family and friends. That's all anyone can ask for these days. Now, on to what not to say. Don't list, just ask, in your profile. It's the equivalent of handing a potential employer a blank resume. You're making me work for it, as if I'm a dog and you're holding up a treat and asking me to jump and I don't even know what the treat is. 
your abs aren't that enticing. Another example of a cliche is, let's have a drink. That phrase is no substitute for quality information about you. I've literally seen that as the only thing in the about me section of profiles. You're trying to convey that you're friendly and you hate online chatting. I get it, but it really doesn't make any sense in reality, at least not for women. We have to consider the time it takes to get ready, which is freaking forever for a first date. The time it takes to drive there, stay a minimum of 30 minutes so as to not be rude, drive back, and even time to de-stress after the date. All totaled, that's three hours invested for just a short date. Why would I commit three hours to someone I know nothing about? The only people willing to do that are extroverts who don't have a busy life. Moving on to other things that you shouldn't say, really, in general, don't be negative. I don't like fake people. I don't like being used. I can't stand it when a woman doesn't have a good co-parenting relationship. It just sounds really whiny. Don't say you were looking for someone happy. No one is happy all the time, so it might turn some people off. Use the word positive. It's just a much better word for your profile. Don't say you were looking for someone physically fit. I know this is hard, but don't say it unless you actually mean you want someone extremely physically fit. People might assume that you are looking for a fantastic body. I try to work out about 10 hours a week, but I don't consider myself physically fit because I still have an average body because of genetic makeup and beer. I really like beer. Good beer, caloric beer. Hence, I assume that you have higher body standards than mine, so I ignore you. Don't say something stupid like you're big on communication and in the same paragraph say, I don't know what to say. I'm pretty sure I did an eye roll when I read that one. Don't click on something unless you actually know what it means. Guys click on chansons as a favorite music genre all the time. Isn't that French music from the early 20th century or am I missing some pop culture reference here? Really, I don't think Billy Bob from New Mexico listens to chansons. I literally don't know any guy who does. French rap, sure, but chansons, no. Another example of clicking on something that you don't actually mean is regarding pets. If you don't own a horse, don't click horse. Guys literally click rodents in the pet section. It is possible that a lawyer living in Midtown who likes art galleries keeps rats as pets, but it's not very likely. So when I see something like that, it's just very distracting. Don't list a vague job description. If you are bold enough to list president on your profile, I will assume that you are president, CEO, and janitor of your one-man appliance repair business that you run out of your parents' basement. So if you wanna list president, somewhere in your profile, you should go into a bit of detail, such as industry, number of employees, and ideally quantitative measurements to describe your scope of responsibilities and achievements. Remember, I'm an engineer. Also, so many guys list entrepreneur. In girl language, that just means unemployed. So I just tend to ignore all those people. I know it's not always the case. I actually had a boyfriend who listed his job as entrepreneur, but in my thorough analysis of his profile, I also saw that he had a $300 haircut, so I didn't think he was unemployed. And I was right. My usual assumption with him was not true, so I was very happy that I noticed that. It's still not a good idea to use that term though, no matter how fancy you look. If you list the word medical as your occupation, I will assume that your job is to dispose of medical waste. This is online dating, people. We have to assume the worst. Just say what you actually do. Don't lie about your height. Why would you want a woman to be disappointed when she meets you? Personally, I don't look my best in any of my pictures because when a guy meets me on a first date, I want him to be pleasantly surprised. That's how I roped in my last boyfriend. Yeah. Besides, women can often tell what height you are by your pictures. I know I look for kitchen pictures. I evaluate the cabinet height, determine the door height, analyze the angle the photo was taken at, how far from a cabinet or door you are, and then I know what height you are. I'd assume most women don't analyze as much as I do, but it's standard operating procedure for an engineer like me. 
I actually date guys as short as 5'4", so I don't do it to eliminate. I do it to know what height of heels to wear when I meet him. Pictures. Oh my gosh, this is a huge topic. I can't cover it here, but this is a clip from my next video, which will cover pictures. I promise you won't want to miss it. Do not use photos of you with sexy looking women. It does not make women want to be with you more. You either look stupid because you look like you don't belong, or you make the women looking at your photo really self-conscious. Bonus tip. One last tip I have is I recommend you have humor in your profile. People have different types of humor, and if you have some in your profile, you can attract people that appreciate your humor. It's a great way to show you actually have a personality, too. Now, I wouldn't recommend you try to be clever and funny in your messages because the written word can be easily misinterpreted. However, you only make one profile, so I think it's worth the effort to have a couple sentences in there that show off your personality. Well, that's my exhaustive and exhausting list of ways to improve your profile so that you can win hearts, minds, and dates. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. That way you don't miss my future videos on profile pictures and why she doesn't respond to your online dating message. And if you're sick of online dating and ready to give up, you can right now watch my video, Professional Matchmakers, What to Know. Yeah, Walter.